wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar, any noble, any well-meaning meddler. Go ahead. Try to give me to your demons. Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? You're worse than a monster. Goodbye. Kill the vessels only if you must! Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. Do not trust him. He's likely possessed. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. Uh, what, what was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. God damn it, Hawk. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. The demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Marsha. They... They were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Not all mages are like that. True. Not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Yet also true. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years.
We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Mistress Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. What? You can't be nice yourself? You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground, and their Templar sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the Circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Maker's blessing! I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb! Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? Typical excuse. He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Someone starts raising undead, and it's all downhill from there. I've been at the Circle since I was six. I've heard about demons, blood magic. They warned us, but I never thought I'd see it. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. Sir Thrask waits outside. You will be safe there. They're here! The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle! Decimus, no! Stay your hand! These are no Templars! What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call. 